I don't know if we really ever sat down and said, okay, you know, this is this is the sport. We were all, like I said, ex-bike racers and couldn't figure out what to do, so we started a company that took people to Vietnam, Cambodia, and Laos. He said we're doing some ride in Vietnam, some sort of reunion ride, and he said, why don't you come along? We've talked about doing a friends and family trip to Vietnam for a long time. So who, who would want to be in the club is people who would want to ride with us. When I first met Willard, I was probably 15. And I've known Tony since he was 12. When I don't ride for periods of times, I get a little bit depressed. It's my way of life. I'd raced in Malaysia, I'd done some racing in China, but Vietnam it was just a little nerve wracking for me. They might not have seen some lycra clad sort of white man on a bike, probably ever. You get the feeling they have a very earnest life. I think I ate more mud today than I, I will ever in my life. Rainy, wet, windy, cold. You, know, you have 15 guys show up or whatever it was. Some were excited and some were lonely. Almost everybody on this trip was much more fit than I was. If you want to race, we'll race. <laughs> 